Well, I wanted to do some plays on great characters, uh, not only great characters, but characters called the great, because I had done the, the great cons plays. So I was thinking about how many characters have been called the great. Um, I'll probably end up doing a Tamerlane play. I, I'm thinking of doing an Oliver Cromwell play. I want to do a play about the communist uh, sympathizer, Joe Hill, at some point. These are some of the historical plays that are on my mind. But I, I, I looked up on Wikipedia or some other sources yeah, uh, the names of leaders that were called the great. And uh, of all of, of the top 15 or 20 of them, initially I was thinking maybe I could do a seven or eight play cycle. But as I looked at them, I was like, nah, uh, this this is more just soap opera and a lot of it is just administrative stuff. You know, I could do something like Ivan the Terrible from Russia. Then you have Peter and Catherine the Great from Russia. But the reality, and Akbar the Great from India, uh, and, uh, you know, Charlemagne means Charles the Great. Um, uh, I could have done Alfred the Great. Uh, uh, but in looking at it... Peter I mean, the Great. Peter the Great. Well, I think I think... I, did I mention? No, I... Yeah, Peter and Catherine the Great. But... Uh, um, I, I thought, well, no. Uh, and as I looked at it, I said the, the three of them that that accomplished the most was the three of the earliest to use it. The only the only one th that I could have used uh, alternately would have been Darius the Great from Persia. But since I'm doing since I'm doing uh, Cyrus the Great of Persia, it's uh, he, he was great. And, and Darius, or in some pronunciations, Darius the Great. Uh, was not at a level. So Sargon was basically the first uh, of the founders of nations, conquerors, that you could use the term great with. And I think he's one of, he might be the earliest, the great there is. There might be one or two minor tribal chieftains or something, but he's the first one who was more than a king. He founded a multi-ethnic empire and the Akkadian empire is considered the, the first real empire, although there's a, a minor debate here or there about it. Cyrus the Great was a great admirer of Sargon, um, and uh, so I linked the two of them, even though they're separated by 1,800 years. It was 2300 BC when Sargon existed, around 500 BC, uh, the 500s, when uh, Cyrus existed. So the difference between them is basically the difference between not us and the height of the Roman Empire, basically, with the Colosseum and stuff. So that's the, 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 the big difference. And then Alexander was 300 BC or 200 years beforehand. And have you, ever, have, you ever, have you ever noticed that where it seems like in history where there are these great admirers of, of each other, they had a longer memory yeah. um, and they they hold on to that type of thing, whereas now, even though it's a more complex society, it's like people have the uh, the memory of ten to twenty years, maybe. Yeah, if that, and uh, that's because very little came through, and because Sargon was so dominant. I mean, Sargon leaders, Sargon, there was you know there wasn't you know the founding fathers of the U.S. There wasn't all of these these great leaders and despots that we have then. I mean, there was basically Sargon. Sargon was a, a gigantic figure that would have been known throughout the Mesopotamian Near East, the Levant uh, world. He was a, 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 a giant figure. So Cyrus would know about him. And, and Alexander was a great admirer of Cyrus. He knew a little bit, of, I guess, about Sargon, but he was a big admirer of Cyrus. And, and also one of the th reasons I chose this too is just the, the basic numerics is that Sargon was the first Sargon there ever was. There came, there was Sargon II and Sargon III, which are minor uh, kings of minor countries, but Sargon was the first. Uh, Cyrus was Cyrus II of Persia and Alexander was Alexander III of Macedon. Sure, so we had sure. the one, two, three there. And it's like, okay, that's just so obvious. These are the probably the three greatest guys that use the, the term the great and they're one, two, and three in their respective dynasties. It, it just made sense to do that. And as far as Sargon was the prototype of the, the first emperor, founder, father of a country. He was the first prototype of a great leader. Cyrus uh, is very much in that same mold. He, he, and, and these guys also control pretty much all of the same territory, although each of the empires got successively larger. Um, and Cyrus was a great admirer of Sargon. 
and he also uh, had a very similar uh, military uh, existence in terms of conquering some of the same people of the descendant peoples. But then Alexander comes along and Alexander breaks the mold. So you have the mold is made, the mold is copied, and then the mold has to be broken. So again, dramatically speaking, they, they work perfectly as an arc.